हेलो एवरीवन सो अवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू आ पॉइंट चार्ज इनिशियली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ड्यू टू आ पॉइंट चार्ज नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू आ पॉइंट चार्ज एज पर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल एट एनी पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू द वर्क डन इन कैरिंग a unit positive charge from infinity to that point means if we want to determine in this diagram we want to determine the electric potential at point p so to determine the electric potential at point p we have to carry a unit positive charge from infinity to this point p then the work done will be equal to the electric potential of this point p suppose we are carrying any other charge plus q not then the electric potential at this point p will be equal to the ratio of work done and this charge plus q not so in our derivation we are taking a, a positive charge plus q which is kept at a point o due to this positive charge plus q some electric field is produced at p and therefore some electric potential should also be produced and the path from infinity to point p is actually divided into some smaller parts out of those parts one point is a and another is b the position of a from o is at a distance x and the distance between a and b is dx so for first of all we will determine the force exerted on plus q not at a then we will determine the work done in carrying plus q not from a to b and then we will integrate that in work done for complete work done from infinity to point p similarly we will start force exerted on plus q not at a means at this point a according to coulomb's law is f is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q q not upon x square as the distance between o to a is x again if plus q not charge is displaced from a to b then work done work done is equal to minus f dx as the direction of force and displacement are opposite to each other that's why force work done is negative so total work done in displacing plus q not from infinity to point p w is equal to minus times integration f dx from infinity to r infinite infinite here actually represents the distance of o to infinite and r is actually representing the distance of point p from o so on placing the value of f minus q q not upon 4 pi epsilon not is constant so integration 1 upon x square dx from infinite to r in next line W is equal to minus Q Q not upon four pi epsilon not. On doing the integration, it will become minus one upon x and the limits infinite to small r. This minus and this minus will be plus. So in next line, on placing the limits, it will become Q Q not upon four pi epsilon not one upon r minus one upon infinite. One upon infinite is zero. So W is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught Q Q naught upon R. That is the work done in displacing or carrying a charge plus Q naught from infinity to point P. So electric potential at point P again the same formula W upon Q naught on placing the value of W one upon four pi epsilon naught Q Q naught upon R into one upon Q naught from this expression Q Q naught Q Q naught cancel. so v is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon not q upon r this is the expression of electric potential due to 
a point charge means this point charge plus q at a distance r from it electric potential is a scalar quantity that's why we don't have any direction that is all for this video thank you